Hi, this is Kelly with uh, Kelly's Outreach, Global Love and Compassion, making a difference because the worth of a soul is great. So the card we drew today for our roomy oracle is Sacred Convergence. There it is. So we're going to read from the roomy, and here we go. Uh, roaming, uh, Sacred Convergence, card 11. Roaming about town the master was holding a light saying i am wary of the demons and the beast a human is what i am longing for the human cannot be found we have searched what cannot be found is what i'm longing for although poor and needy i will not accept small pieces of ruby the mine of the finest rubies is what I'm looking for. One hand holding a cup of wine and the other the curls of the beloved. A dance like this in the middle of the circle is what I'm longing for. Uh, how I have longed. <laughs> First deal, I'm not holding my camera to the deal. How I have longed for you, my very own. Look no further for the family beyond your family, the relationship beyond all relationships. Beyond all, all relationships. The great love that unveils all love to be more reflections of the one great and true love is here for you now. It is I who have sought you through the strivings of your own heart. Yes. Twas I hidden beneath every secret, yearning for something more, something full, something special, something all compa compassing, encompassing. Behind every yearning, always I have hidden. Now I show myself to you, that you may become so filled with the same passion and devotion. Uh, lost my place here that I hold for you, that your mind will fall away overwhelmed by the sheer intensity of love, tossed into an ocean of silent and ending bliss. Come to me, we are to be one now, in sacred convergence of silent e eternal passion. Sacred convergence indicates a coming together of souls in alignment with a greater cause. This greater cause is both personal and impersonal. Personal. There is an aspect of joining together for common purpose, although that purpose may not be immediately obvious at a level of a day-to-day -day consciousness. The common purpose may be to lift each other into greater love and self-belief, to shed fear and open the heart, filling each individual soul with more holy fire for its personal passionate purpose. You'll have a sense with this process is happening. There will be a coming together of you with like-minded souls who hail from all walks of life. And yet together through some invisible genius, you will help each other. You may simply be dancing in the same room or singing a, in a group, attending a class or a workshop, or just visiting the same beach or parkland. But at the moment, there will be a sense of something coherent, nourishing happening at far greater level. The trickle-down effect into your personal life will be felt too. You'll have more energy after spending time with these people, even if you don't interact very much on a personal level beyond being in the same space. You'll feel empowered to step forward on your path and love yourself with less condition. You'll become freer to shed your fears. Let go of relationships based in fear and judgment and open up to those more loving. Uh responsive and inspiring to continue on your personal journey in increasingly profound ways. The Oracle has come to you because you are part of a great of a greater sacred convergence happening now. Perhaps you have already sensed its progression, or perhaps it will not be obvious to you, but the effect whether obvious or subtle will be important to your soul development and divine awakening. You're being asked to drop defenses and barriers towards groups of people that feel good for you. However, those that dampen your spirit or drag you down are to be dispensed 
with no matter what games of blame or manipulations they may play to keep you coming back for more. No, that shall not do for your soul growth now. Just step away. Turn towards those connections that feel nourishing to your soul and learn to share without fear. Just be. You do not have to force the planets to spin nor the great cycles of the soul to happen. All that is required is that you show up for what is offered to you now. Do your part. Take your steps. Dance, sing, and be, and allow the gifts of sacred connection to change your world. For this is spiritual gift presented to you now. This oracle comes to you with a special, a special message. Perhaps you have been thinking about shedding lower vibrational connections based in the ego world of power games, sabotage, manipulation, and fear. Perhaps you have already begun this process or even shed so many you are fearing that you might have over pruned to be left with nothing and no one. Do not fear, feisty angel of love. Your truth is prevailing. You cannot stay in a vibration of fear if you want to dwell in the vibration of love. Whilst you learn to sustain that vibration within you until it cannot be be rattled by any crisis or demand, you are wise to place yourself in more nourishing connections. If you want a plant to grow, why not give it the best soil and conditions in which to do so? Certainly the plants or the plant of love can can and will grow in the most inhospitable condition, but it can be rather more joyful to grow in gentle, more nourishing conditions if possible. This oracle comes to you with guidance that the possibility for more joy relationship and growth of love within is your power. You can choose each day, each moment. Just make a choice. Trust yourself and discernment and your intuition and choose. You do not owe anyone anything. Repeat this law of karma. You only owe love the chance to grow. So let that be your, gui your guiding principle now as you release the old and trust that even if your garden of relationship becomes sparse for a while, you have been cutting back unhealthy plants to allow for new life to flourish. If it only matters of timing for the season of new life and growth to come again and it, and so it shall bringing with it sacred convergence of souls on the path of love and your soul tribe, your soul family, your new tribe of those journeying upon the path of love. Sacred Rooming Ritual. Say, Rumi who loves me unconditionally, I open to your grace. I hereby declare I am willing to release those connections that, are, that no longer serve my spiritual growth on the path of love. I release relationships based in fear and I am open to those based in love. I surrender the need to judge, to assert control, and to be in the right. I open up to tolerance, intuition, and honoring of my heart. I open to love. Show me the way, brother of my soul. Guide me through your grace into the sacred convergence of my soul and divine love in most gracious expression, now and always. I call in all. I call in my soul tribe of love, and I open my heart to nourishing connections in all ways. Now, so be it. Close your eyes and relax with your hands resting on your hearts. Do this for however long feels good for you. When you are ready, simply open your eyes, and you have completed your sacred honoring ritual. So we just want to thank you for the daily read. And this is just how we're getting started. This is how we are getting it popping. And every day, no matter what, we are posting a video. So be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. You can PayPal me. Uh, PayPal.me slash Life Force Love. Um, and if you'd like to have a reading, I do have the, um, I'm doing numerology readings. Rumi Oracles, uh, Akashic Records, and Angel Cards, and the Rider Waite. So, just let me know and hit me up and I'll spend um, an extensive amount of time preparing a, a reading for you and um, it'll be much more personable. So anyway, we thank you for, um, for being with us this evening and we're going to hit this up. And um, if you'd like to donate, that'd be great. Uh, and thank you very much. Love you all. Bye.